This is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Flower Power Bracelet. This is an advanced level design. To make this bracelet you will need 38 A colored bands, 21 B colored bands, 21 C colored bands, and a C clip. I will be using white, pink, and purple. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Start with your loom with the red arrow pointing away from you. We'll start by placing six A-colored bands on the loom to form a hexagon. Refer to the diagram at the top of the screen. We'll start at the center pin, and we'll place one A from the center pin to the left. Two A will be placed up the left side, and three A from the left side to the center. Then we return to the bottom. We'll place band four A from the center pin out to the right, band five A up the right side, and band 6A to the center. Repeat this pattern five more times, and we'll fast forward to the end of the loom. Refer to the graphic on your screen. Now you'll place six B bands on your loom to form the first flower. You'll start from the center pin and the first B band will be placed at the two o'clock position on the hexagon. So you start from the center pin and pull out to the side here. Then you'll be placing bands clockwise around the hexagon. So the next band to be placed will be from the center pin down. Refer to the graphic on your screen as you place these bands. And push those down. Then we move up to the second hexagon. We'll place six colored bands on the loom, starting from the center pin to the two o'clock position. And just as we did before, we'll place the bands clockwise around the hexagon. Push those down. Follow the diagram two more times to place four more flowers on the loom. Pause the video here until you reach the end of the loom. Next, we'll place six cap bands on the loom. First, let's push down all of these bands to create room on the loom. Go back to our first flower. We'll place a B colored cap band on the center of this flower. Put two fingers through the band twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on the center of that flower. Now we'll place a cap band on this flower. We'll use a C-colored band, twist that into a cap band, and place it over the center. 
We'll continue doing this for each of the flowers. And on the end of the loom, we'll place a white or an A colored cap band right there. Now we've finished placing all our bands on the loom. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. We'll loop the first flower, starting right here. Refer to the graphic on your screen. It's very important that the bands are looped in the correct order. We'll loop this first band to the 6 o'clock position. That's the band that was on the top. So you pull back your cap band, grab that C band that's on the top, and you're going to pull that out to the center pin. We'll be looping these bands counterclockwise, so the next band we'll loop will be this one. You reach in, it's the top C band in there, so you grab that and pull it out to the side. We'll loop this one next, that's 3C. Grab that and pull that out. 4C. five C and six C. Now we'll move on to looping the bands in your B colored flower. Follow the graphic on your screen. The first band we loop will be band seven B to the six o'clock position. Pull back your top cap band, grab that band, hold the cap band down with your finger and pull your B band down to the six o'clock position. Again, we'll be looping these bands counterclockwise. So 8B will be the next band. You reach in and grab that and pull it out. And 9B, 10B, 11B, and 12B. Continue the looping pattern shown in the diagram for the remaining four flowers. You may want to pause the video here until you finish looping all the flowers. There, I finished looping the flowers. Now we need to loop the edges of the bracelet. We'll loop bands one through six to loop each of these hexagons. We'll start from the center pin. There's a lot of bands on this pin, so you pull all the bands above that A colored band. That's your 1A. You pull all those back, grab your 1A, and pull it out to the left. Then you'll loop 2A. You pull all the bands above that band back, reach in and pull that forward. Then you'll be looping 3A. Pull all the bands back and pull that to the center pin. Then you return to the beginning of the hexagon to loop 4A. You can slide over here, pull all those bands above that band back, grab 4A, and pull it out to the right. Band 5A, got to make sure you pull all the bands above that back, and then pull that forward. And 6A.
We'll repeat looping 1 through 6 for each hexagon until we reach the end of the loom. In the center, you have to pull all the bands back that are above your band 1A. Grab that, and as you can see, I grabbed the wrong one. So we put that back. See how you can tell how it pulled? Put that back, put your hook in the center, and then roll it around your pin. That should realign all your bands. It's very important that you grab them in the right order. So let's try that again. You put all your bands above that back, and we've grabbed the right one. You can tell because it then formed that teardrop shape. So we pulled band 1A. Band 2A is next. Pull all the bands above that band back, and pull 2A forward. 3A, pull those back, and loop that to the center. Then we return to the beginning of the hexagon. We reach in, and we loop 4A out to the right. Pull all those bands back, grab 5A, and pull it forward. And 6A, we pull all the bands above that one back, and pull that to the center. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. And there we finished looping all of our bands. Now it's time to finish the bracelet. Pull all of the bands on this last pin up to the top. Place your hook down through the channel and slide it out to the side. Make sure all of these bands are over the hook. Then you grab an A colored band, place it on the end of your hook and pull back. Press your hook back as you go up through the center channel and place both bands up on your hook, then move them to the thickest part. With your fingers, you'll grab the bracelet and start pulling it from the loom. And here's the bracelet as we've pulled it off the loom. We secure that cap band and we're ready to extend. If made on one loom, the bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many additional bands you will need. Place your loom with the red arrow pointing away from you. And you'll place your extension bands going up one side of the loom. For smaller wrists, Three or four bands may be all that's required to extend. If the wrist is larger, you may need six or more bands. You continue placing these bands one over the other, the side of the loom. And then once you've placed the number of bands you need, you'll put your bracelet on the end. You'll find the cap band and you'll place it on this last pin and stretch it to the one behind. You put that over there and then you loop the single chain. Once you pull the band to the last pin, you'll stretch it to the middle one, and that creates an area where you can easily attach your C-clip. You grab your C-clip, 
the med open side facing forward and you put that over those bands and make sure that that's on there securely and then you can lift your extension from the loom you grab your hook at the other end of the bracelet pull it up slide your two fingers through that rubber band and that creates an area where you can attach the other side of your c-clip and you do it like that now this bracelet is a little rough when you pull it off the loom so you will need to make some minor adjustments to get the flowers to line up neatly but it only takes a few seconds of tugging and pulling at them to make it look nice so there we have your finished flower power bracelet